Our friend Jeanette Bott back on the show from the Utah Food Bank, and we're talking about something coming up on Thanksgiving that's before dinner. It's before lunch, but it's so important. It's actually before breakfast, too. Before breakfast. It's <laughs> exactly. very early, so you can get it in there. You can slide it on into your schedule. Absolutely. Tell us about the Utah Human Race. You know, again, we gather on Thanksgiving Day, and it's a great tradition that has been established from the Utah Food Bank for families across the valley. And it's, you know, it's a 5 and 10K. It's an easy route. Um, we love to see the tradition of families coming year after year. But after all of that is said and done, we're helping to feed hungry folks in the state of Utah. So did you say this is the 14th year? This is the 14th year. It gets bigger every year. Last year you had 5,000 participants. How many do we need this year? Well, we'd like a few more than 5,000. The weather is really good, so I, just, I see no reason. They should be out and running. It actually, Devin just looked, peaked at that forecast, and I it know. does look really good on Thanksgiving. So many people, Jeanette, have a tradition of playing football with the family or doing something outside that morning. Why not make this a tradition? You know, we would love to see people incorporate that into their day. It's early enough that you can participate and be home, still have time for preparation, still have time for family. Did we mention the costumes? Because as you're looking <laughs> at the video, you see people are dressed warmly, but with more than just coats. And very creatively, I might add. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun to see because we, we encourage it. We love to have those families take that element of creativity and bring that with them. So you can, you can wear a costume. Costumes are invited. Invited, encouraged. Uh, let's talk about the need. I know it's fun to talk about this event, but what does it really do for our community? Why do we do this every year? You know, as we look at our our state and everything is so positive here, we have to remember there's an audience that's been left behind. And we're responsible for the entire state of Utah. You know, 380,000 people are struggling with food insecurity. So the problem is real, it's still there, and we all need to help. If you sign up, does the money go towards the Utah Food Bank or should you also bring food to donate? We can't collect food that day, it's too difficult. You are able to make additional donation as you register online. If you come um, for packet pickup the day before the race at Utah Food Bank and want to bring food, you can bring it that day. Bring it Wednesday when you come to the food bank. I saw some strollers. If you're not a runner but you'd like to be part of it, is it okay for you to come? You know, we have lots of walkers, lots of small kids. We ask you the pace that you run or walk, so we start you in a group that's kind of at your same level. And it's a fun and a safe way for families to understand the importance of exercise in addition to the, important of, the importance of giving. So the 5K and the 10K, mm -hmm. which one are you doing? I'm on the sidelines cheering with you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm hosting this. I'm getting it going. But you can walk it, you can run it. And when, when do you need to sign up? You know, registration goes all the way through online at utahfoodbank.org until the day before the race. So you can do same day registration. If you're late on Wednesday, there is no same day packet pickup or registration. Oh, and Jeanette, we need to mention there is a new location for the race this year. We are, we're still in Draper. We're still on 123rd South, but we're west of the freeway, 550 West. So we're in a, 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 a Vista Station business park, easy to find and safe to be in. Easy to find and good spot to get your exercise in before Thanksgiving and also feel good about what you are doing for our state. It is so needed. Uh, go to our website, everybody. We'll link you to the Utah Food Bank website with all the information, abc4.com slash midday.